Well, I was very shocked to hear about the death of uh, Doris Price, and indeed very, very sad. And my thoughts are with her, with her family, particularly with her sons, Donny and Oscar. With all of her family, but I suppose particularly at this time also Marion, who is very unjustly and very wrongfully incarcerated, and I want to make a very, very strong call for her to be released. Dolores had a very tough life, like many other people. Uh, she was a long time imprisoned in England. She endured over 200 days of forced feeding while on hunger strike and she had many trials and tribulations in her life and uh, I think this is the time just to be thinking about her family and the Wailo Maragwini Gia Trokra or Anam. Do you feel any bitterness towards her for the claims she made against you? No, not at all. None whatsoever. I'm sad and, and shocked to hear that she that she's dead and uh, no, I'm, I'm sure anybody who knew her or even knew, who knew of her uh, will also be sad at this time. How concerned are you that the claims that you did make against you <coughs> in the Boston College recordings that they will now be most probably released? I have no concerns at all about uh, any of that. And indeed, I don't think this is an appropriate time to rehearse those issues. Dollars set out her position, I've set out my position. But I think it's uh, a time just with her passing and just having got news of her passing over the last uh, few hours. Then just be thinking of her family. Uh, they must be going through a very, very difficult time. And also, you know, that the British government would show some compassion and uh, take the opportunity now to release her sister, Mariam, without any preconditions whatsoever. Can I ask, uh, when was the last time you spoke with her and what was your relationship like? Uh, well, I haven't spoken to her in some time, uh, but I know her from way back in the very early days of the civil rights movement. She and her sister Marion were very active in the, in the civil rights struggle and right through. Uh, and obviously there was a parting of the ways, uh, but that does not for a second uh, diminish uh, the life that she lived and the difficulties that she had and that uh, her, her passing will be a huge blow for her family and most particularly for her two sons, Danny and Oscar. And I, I, I singled Marion out particularly because the two of them were extremely close. They were in prison together uh, over a long period. But uh, Marion is incarcerated at this time, totally and absolutely illegitimately, without trial, without any uh, case being put before her uh, peers. I, I have raised the issue consistently with the uh, Taoiseach and with the Minister for Foreign Affairs. I've written to both of them again today and I do think that there is an opportunity here for the British government to do the right thing and to release Marion Price. Will you attend to Loris's funeral? I haven't even thought about any of that. Are you comfortable with the notion that her Boston College interviews make a I, I never worry about matters that I have no control over and I've always said that and I have no concerns around any of those uh, issues because they're not true but this isn't the time to be rehearsing any of those uh, arguments. We've just had news of this woman's death and my thoughts are with her family, uh, particularly her two sons and with her sister Marion and uh, I think this does give an opportunity for the British government to do the right thing and release Marion, who should not be imprisoned without trial in any case. Okay, folks. Well, well, do you well, regret now the manner in which you and, and your party uh, sought to undermine the Lord's price in recent months by so categorically rejecting all of the allegations that she made about you? Uh, do you regret that treatment of her now? Well, you've answered the question. Do, Thank do you. you. Better? No, I, uh, I regret the fact that the woman has uh, died. I don't think with respect to you, Fiona, at this time is the time to be rehearsed. And I'll talk to you about these matters at any time, but this is just a few hours after we've had news of this poor woman's untimely death. This is not the time to be rehearsing 
uh, these issues. I, I well, sorry, you, you sorry. were quite happy to, to undermine her in recent. No, no, I was not denying I, everything that she said. Uh, you uh, and your party uh, issued statements. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to get involved. I'm not going to get involved on the spot with you. You can come out here with a very, very negative uh, agenda. You can try and uh, undermine my good reputation, but this is not the time to discuss these matters. If you wish. Uh, as a good objective journalist that you must aspire to be to discuss these matters with me again I'm happy to do that but well, not today uh, okay. Mr Adams it, it, was it right for Dolores Price and Marion Price to have been involved in the, in the London bombing campaign of, of I've, I've, I've bombing said all I've them? said all I want to say on this issue today I, I uh, am very very moved by your sensitivity and by the way you deal with these uh, issues uh, this woman has died. She has two sons who will just be receiving uh, this news. She has a wider family. Her family has suffered over the years. I would like to think you might be mindful of that. It's up to you, of course, but I'd like to think you might be mindful of, of that. And we can discuss, and we will, please God, have plenty of time to discuss these other mm. matters at a more appropriate time.